What is going on guys? We're here today on a no cool call at a Gitman furnace. As I can see we have no power. It's a brand new filter. Probably changed it. Thinking that was gonna resolve it, but did not. We have no water sitting in the drain paint in the drain line. And uh yeah, let me put this back in so I can pop the unit open. And check. There we go. Check and see what don't we have power. Let me pop that open. Alright. Set our meters. Our meter to volts. And let's see if we got any power coming in. Okay, we do got power coming in. Power coming out of the board. But my board is not lighting up. We have a blown fuse. That means we have a short in the low voltage wiring. It goes straight up to the attic. Not sure what that is. So it goes up the attic for the outdoor. And then, yes, and then for my other wire, it does go up the attic too. So let's see what happens. If I put my little voltage pop up breaker, this guy right here. So it's called a short finder tool right here so that way you are not blowing through fuses all the time so have that light up there since it has a magnet you should be able to let me see yeah okay that's easier See if I can slide them both in. See if we can locate our short. Fortunately, right now, we just started pouring. be able to do much yes. I do not plan on getting soaking wet so all right turned on let's not pop this out and I'm pretty sure the issue is going to be outside or up in the attic. I just hope I don't need a ladder to get up to that attic because it does not look very fun at all. It looks really tight up there. So let me get my jumper wire. See if I can get it to run and see if hopefully the rain will come down so I can go and check because if you see this pouring it's kind of hard to tell on the camera but it is pouring rain right now. 
So, let's see. Pretty sure they probably try to change the thermostat. That could be another thing. A lot of tenants like to change thermostats. And since they don't know, they will leave the power on and touch the wires between them and blow the fuse. So let's see. Common in red. 24 coming to yellow nothing coming to fan nothing so it's not call it calling for nothing right now outdoor does. Oh, you idiot. Oh. Yeah. The short's gonna be outside. As soon as I put my jumper cable in red. And yellow. If you see, you reset it, power's back on. And there we go. And bloop. Once again. So, try and see if we can wait out the rain. Let's see if we can check the outdoor wiring. So it is indeed our short is outside because every time I try to jump it to get the condenser running, it'll check that pop-up breaker. Uh, let me see if I can find my damn screwdriver here. So I can disconnect it and go from there. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to remove my two wires from the outside. Could be a bad contact or two of the bad 24 volt coil, and it's causing this to pop. Okay, it's out of there. We might have a good coil back there, so. Let me go walk back there since the rain kind of calmed down a little bit. See if I can see anything visually. Okay, so first glance, pop open the unit. And what do you know? These wires are all peeled off. See how it's already missing the cover? Look. So it was touching the metal and just keeps popping the fuse. So, just unhook this here, hook this here. And I got my umbrella here because it's raining. So, I don't know why this is so difficult to put a rubber grommet on this or something. or Because no wonder there's going to be a fuse popping. And the wires are missing its cover, pretty much, and it's touching metal. So, see if I can pull this out of this tape here and kind of cut it and redo it real quick. Let me go get my wire strippers. Alright guys, so went ahead and got some conduit. 
had one in the van already pre-cut it for this high voltage stuff so i just went ahead and pulled out the high voltage wires and just used it so that way i didn't have to open that big old roll of 25 feet so i got everything inside of the conduit it's protected now nice seal tight right there uh changed the wire nuts because the ones that had were too big and here again is our main issue right here so this wire was lost its cover with the elements outside sun water and all that just cover gave up and it was just literally sitting against the the metal right here so i'm gonna go ahead and clean this up real quick i'm gonna leave it open and i'm gonna go over there and turn everything on and see we have no more issues all right so let me put the outdoor wires back in and we'll give it a power we'll jump it make sure it don't trip that little breaker that pop-up breaker and then that should be it. We'll go and turn it on from the thermostat. Okay. We got power. I go from red to yellow. Check our temperature split real quick. I got to check how to get this damn door back in place. So I think it's this back metal tip. It's not letting it sit in all the way. There we go. There we go. Doors all the way in. Get a new fuse. Brand new one. I'm gonna double check it. Even though it's brand new. We're good. Just going to pop this guy in there. Let's put the doors back in. power now <clears throat> so I just need to go I think I'm gonna put the screws backwards let me see all right guys so this might conclude this call for now I need to head to two other more calls um, I need to reschedule, do some maintenance because that coil is pretty dirty. She's running, she's cooling. Everything is protected now, so I'm going to close everything up, pick up all my tools, and head on to the next one. I should not have any more issues, so hopefully I can come back the next few days and just get this, get this cleaned out. Um, and yeah, so we're good to go. See you guys on the next one.